recording. All right, my name is Sir Timothy Thrapp, World Improvement Through the Spirit Ministries, and we're going to do one more little video on the drill, uh, excuse me, on the charger, charging a drill motor, charging a drill battery for the motor. And uh, I forgot, on previous videos, I forgot to mention all the, all the unique features of this charger, and so it's important to do that. I wanted you to see that the battery is virtually dead here. And so I'll talk about the unique features while it's charging. You see, basically it won't even turn. It barely turns. That's pretty showing up pretty good on camera. You just stop it, you just touch it, and it stops. You see how, you see how it's, so it's basically a dead battery. 18 volts, as you see, barely turning, barely moving. Pretty easy to see that on the camera. Now, now it's not moving at all. See that? Pull the trigger all the way down, it's not moving. So it shows you the battery's completely dead. Okay, now. Real time here, we're going to charge this charger. Fastest charger, one of the points of the seven, there's seven points that are very unique about this charger. Fastest charger in the west, north, south, and east on the planet, honestly. Uh, and so you'll see how fast it charges in real time. Comes with a couple little magnets you can easily uh, stick on to all, virtually any battery. It also comes with a couple alligator clips for the batteries that. Uh, where, the, where it's way in there and recessed. It comes with small alligator clip jumper wires. Uh, but anyway, for now, positive, negative, and, and we're ready to roll. And begin, you hit begin. Set it on uh, about what you want it to charge at, which is about 1.5 amps. All the others are off. It's a 18, it's reading 18 volt, dead battery was 17.9, uh, 17.9, 18. You want to set the target voltage. Can you read the screen? Is it okay? Okay, okay. Set up and uh, target voltage. Let's go, you go about 20%, so that's about, it's about 4 volts, so about, uh, that'd be 22. That's what I get. How'd I get 25? Okay, do it. Clear that. 22. Okay. Okay. It's 22 volts. And you hit start. And you see it charging. It's at 94% charge right now already. Uh, it's at 20 volts right now, 0.8. Uh, 1.3 amps. And we'll watch how fast this thing charges. Hopefully I picked the right amperage. I could have, uh, you know, I probably could have charged it at 3 amps. But anyway, we'll see 20.9, 20, almost 21. Yeah, it looks like it's probably the right amperage. But basically you got the right amperage if you're charging in about 3 to 5 minutes. And then you got the right amperage. If it's taking longer than that, you got the wrong amperage. And people think you can't charge batteries super fast like that in a room. This makes them better. This charger's but now a little bit of dominant energy, a little bit of quantum energy all the time, and that actually makes batteries better than ever before. So you can charge them super fast, and they will come out better than ever before. And we'll demonstrate that in a minute. We've even had some batteries go, uh, all of them go more efficient, almost all of them, and some of them go into self-charging mode, and uh, in other words, they last longer and longer and longer, they charge quicker and quicker and quicker. And a few of them have gone into totally self-charging mode where you don't even have to charge them anymore. Yeah, we've had three out of about 300, roughly, that have done that so far. They're totally, you, don't, you just let them set for a period of time, maybe 24 hours, and they're full charge. You don't even, don't even uh, do anything except take them off the load and uh, let them set. Anyway, so the features, unique features, let's see how we're doing on yeah, 21.3, we're going to 22. So we're at 97%, 96% right now. Okay, unique features. Fastest charger, I named that one. Uh, charges in minutes instead of hours, like most most chargers take hours or all night or two days or whatever. These things charge in minutes instead of hours. It'll charge, it's, it's universal, it'll charge any voltage. That's number seven, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Anyway, it's universal. You can, you can dial in, you can program in the voltage, you can program in the amperage. Universal for almost any battery out there. Uh, it's the fastest charger. Okay, I mentioned that as number one. Number two, rejuvenates most batteries as it charges them. Almost all batteries get better as you start charging them. Number three, tested five times more efficient than any other charger out there. Uh, five times more efficient, not double. Five times more efficient than any other charger out there. 
Uh, that's huge. It uh, causes some batteries to go over Unity. That's number four. This charging circuit tested as high as 300% in some tests. It's over Unity. It's like a heat pump. People think over Unity is impossible. Go look at your heat pump outside your house. You'll find out that it's rated COP about 3 or 2.5 or 3.5 or 4. That means it's four times over Unity. If it says COP 3, that means it's three times over Unity. You, you guys, these deadheads that keep emailing us, and uh, posting stupid comments on our YouTube channel. They need to go look at their heat pump. They need to go look at what's running their house, man. Uh, I tell you, it's amazing to me, the, the intelligence level of most people. They've been brainwashed by the colleges, and they think that their professor is the only one that knows anything, and he doesn't know nothing, doesn't know anything. Anyway, number five, uh, okay, I covered that one. Uh, let's see, number six, can be used as a DC power supply for electric circuits, but not electronic circuits. In other words, you can run a motor, they can, they can control the voltage, control the amperage. And uh, we're still charging, I'm just checking on it. Uh, we're 21.6. Yeah, it's 98%. Uh, anyway, uh, it can be used as a, um, as a DC power supply for electrical circuits. Again, not electronic circuits. The one thing it does not do, it does not do electronic circuits. So you don't don't put it in parallel with your computer on your car. So it does seven things that no other charger does and one thing you got to be more careful with than a regular charger and that's don't put it in parallel with electronics. Anything with a brain chip you can mess it up. So uh, number six again is can be used as a DC power supply, amperage regulated, voltage regulated uh, and, uh, and that's good for motors and uh, charging uh, like uh, big capacitors and small capacitors and all that. They, the real big capacitors, the super capacitors, really need something like this to charge them. It's hard to charge them properly otherwise. You can overload your battery you're trying to charge it off of or whatever. Uh, they act like a dead short. This will work on a dead short type system. You can literally connect the two leads together and it will draw exactly the amps that it's supposed to draw. Uh, and so again, it will charge any voltage, that was number seven, any voltage or any battery pack. So seven things that no other charger will do, and one thing you got to be a little more careful with than regular charger. And uh, yeah, two things actually. You make sure you don't get the positive and negative reversed, and, uh, and then the other one, don't hook it to electronics. But seven very unique features about this, about this charger. And let's see how we're doing here. 1.9. It's about uh, 99%, and the time is, the lapse time is 5 minutes and 25 seconds, so 99% is close enough, but we'll let it, we'll let it hang, there it goes, just kicked off, so the total time was, whatever I said, 5 minutes and 30 seconds or something, so we has got it fully charged that quick, just while we're talking, and, you know, literally, if you're using this on the job, you no longer need two batteries. Uh, in other words, if you're using this, if you're using your drill motor, let me show you how, how good it works now. It did kick off. It's showing zero amps now. Uh, it's showing you can hit the start button and restart it. Matter of fact, we should probably do that just to show you it, uh, how it works here. You hit the, it's still set at 22, and the current voltage after it's done charging it, resting voltage is now 20 volts. You see that? I'm going to hit the restart button and restart it and you'll see how fast it goes the second time. It's already fully charged but this kind of gives it an extra extra little push in the right direction and it'll only take a few seconds and we're at uh, 21.7, 21.8 and let's see, lapse time is 22 seconds, that's on here also and this is the second charge we're putting in. It just you don't really need two charges, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Uh, now it's going to 21.9. 21.9. Shoot for there it goes. Okay, so lapse time on the second charge is 35 seconds. Now that's that actually helps make the battery better, basically, the, the second. And you can do it three or four times. You know. uh, but it gets faster and faster each time. Uh, now we're going to hook them together, literally clip together. I'll show you that this thing can be short circuited and still works just fine. We're going to short circuit it, short circuit it right now, which means you're like if you're charging a really heavy capacitor or something, like a, like a multi farad capacitor, like the new uh, super caps they call them. And we got the setting the same, we're going to hit start. It's at zero, zero volts, and you notice there's nothing on the amps either. 
except that it's showing 1.5 amps coming out. There's nothing as far as percentage charged. I shouldn't say there's nothing on the amps. But it's zero volts over here. Target's still 22. So that'll charge up a capacitor. You can leave it like that all day long. Doesn't hurt a thing. Uh, it's uh, current limited. And the voltage depends on the load, which in this case is no load. So you can't do that with any other charge right now. So we hit stop, cancel, and we'll demonstrate this thing's fully charged, by the way. It wouldn't even turn this properly. Now, see how fast that's turning it? And all kinds of torque. And if you, if you hold it, it'll burn your hand. Uh, yeah, it'll burn your hand. Try to hold it. And you can run that thing for 30 minutes. Before it's dead. Uh, it's okay. run, 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 run. So full use, full charge. Fastest charger, north, south, east, and west. Uh, again, yeah. So check out the website, wits.ws, if you haven't done so. Uh, that's W I T T S dot W S. That stands for World Improvement Through the Spirit Ministries. And the W S, you could say it stands for website, and technically it stands for Western Samoa. But that's a nice place too. So <laughs> check that out if you want. All right, that's it. Over and out.